and welcome back to Cigar Time, that oh-so-friendly show all about premium cigars. Oh, show friends. Oh, he, so friends. made it up. Oh, so We're friends. the number one show in the world dedicated to cigars. I think that's saying a lot. It is. Well, John, well, this I'm, is Jonathan. Well, well, wait a minute. I'm back. Yay. I'm gone. Yep, so now back. I'm back. Thank you, you for welcoming you me back. For I, her I appreciate that. Unfortunately, she left most of her clothes in the <laughs> Central America, <laughs> and she only had a little no, bit No, I got a new wardrobe down there. I didn't know she was gone. Uh, oh. That's okay. <laughs> We're very pleased to have with us Jonathan Lipson, who's the Senior Regional Executive Vice President Manager <laughs> <laughs> for Alan Pratt. Was that enough? For uh, yeah. yeah. Just give me a couple more titles. Hey, does the paycheck get longer? longer? Uh, yeah. Uh, it, like yeah, it. a couple more Should zeros. Talk to Alan and George. Yeah. Yeah, I just Absolutely. heard you on the Aren't phone. You? you must be a VP of something. I heard <laughs> <laughs> the way he was talking? Yeah. yeah. Get it done. Did, right. did, did, he kick some, did he kick some butt? Yeah. 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 Now, we have a special surprise today. We are going to be launching, and our stores will be featuring events featuring this cigar, a new model, which we're about to light. I have already smoked one of these, and you are in for a treat. So, without further ado, light them up. The Alec okay, Bradley well, I guess I'll post talk embargo. about it. Yeah, this is the uh, Alec Bradley Post Embargo. The wrapper is a Honduran Corojo. The binder is Honduran and Nicaraguan. And the filler is Honduran and Nicaraguan, and they come in four sizes. It's pretty much the standard: Robusto, Toro, Gordo, and Lancero, which is actually my favorite size. I wish you would have had one. Oh, I love a Lancero. You gotta pick a size: Lancero or Gordo. No, no, no. no. She likes I the like main Corona, board. and I like the Lanceros. I think they're the perfect size to really get the full taste of the blend. You know, that's how I think. Okay. Jonathan, what's the uh, origin of the cigars? Uh, scars from uh, the famed race is Cubana's factory, mm -hmm. the same factory that puts out oh, the Alec Bradley Prinsado. <laughs> very, very good cigar. I just want to add something that this is a limited production cigar, and the uh, we'll take them all. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love for you to take them all. They are so good. Uh, the official release parties will be at Cigar Cigar. Woo! Very proud to say that. Um, and I guess Scott will go over that a little bit later. I will what go we're over doing that a little bit later. Um, and uh, let's let's enjoy these cigars. And uh, well, I think it's important to note that you said that we are the only people outside of Alec Bradley to have these. Correct. Right. The so second, absolutely. This is the. Yes. You're, you're yes. watching this live. It's almost. Exclusive. Almost. Yes, it's exclusive. It's live. Yeah. More almost. Or less. More or less live in a couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask what the post embargo? I mean, I know what it means, but why? Well, I asked Alan about this. Alan is the owner of Alec Bradley Cigars. Alan Rubin. Uh, it's a very interesting story, and I know we only have so much time, so I'll cut it as short as humanly possible. Not too short. No, well, not okay. too short. Tell the story. So, uh, <laughs> Alan just got back from Inter Tobac, which is the international trade show that happens in Dortmund, Germany. And um, I'm very happy to report, we went from about 21 countries of distribution to now we're up to 36. Wow. wow. Very um, Huge growth. Humongous, very, very, very big. We're very happy about it. Uh, that being said, um, when you're dealing with the European countries, the Asian countries, uh, their thought process is there's Cuban cigars, and, and then there's is. everything else. Right. Yeah. They really don't care what the names are. All they do is they care what they sell. Yeah. Um, this was really bothering Alan, um, and he looked at one of the distributors. It's like, my cigars perform as well as Cuban cigars. They get rated just as well. Mm -hmm. We're heading into a time in the U.S. Uh, that diplomatic relations with Cuba are getting closer and closer. Mm. <laughs> Depending on who you ask. The embargo's got to be lifted. The embargo that's definitely right. has to be lifted. That's an act of Congress. Good luck. Yeah. But more so for the European market, um, you know, as American cigars begin to grow in popularity in Europe, um, Alan's talking to one of our distributors. Says, look, look. We're heading into a post-embargo world. Cuban cigars in Europe and Asia are getting less and less popular as American market cigars continue to grow uh, in, in that area. He's like, you know what? What is a cigar going to be in a post-embargo world? And this is what you know he came up with. Uh, the blenders on the cigar, Alan had a hand in it. Uh, Ralph Montero, who's our executive vice president, and then the, uh, the fine folks at the Reyes Cubanas factory, we, we did a lot of work on this cigar, and uh, we're extraordinarily, extraordinarily proud. 
Wow. Should, should, be. Be. should be. Should be. Yes, it's if, if this is what a, this is a cigar is supposed to be like in the post embargo world, I'm going to be very happy to yeah. be yeah. Yeah. This is what a cigar is supposed to taste like as soon as you light it up. Yeah, it's good. Awesome. It's, it's inviting. Fun. It's it's inviting. It makes you want to keep smoking it. This is fabulous. Wow. And I also Am like I, that you use a double fabulous. binder on this cigar, which is, you know, a, just as a, a quick aside to our audience. Historically, binders were used just to hold the cigar together, and more and more lately, um, adventurous blenders are using the binder, or in this case, two binders, to really add depth and dimension to the blend, to the flavor. And that's a, I think that's a great development in the industry and a good step on your part. Absolutely. I noticed on my last travels to Europe a few years back, uh, where previously all you would see would be Cuban products with an occasional, you know, brand that has like a white label on it splattered throughout the... Uh, yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I noticed the last time there were plenty of other cigars, plenty of American brands, and some, some Honduran and Nicaraguan brands that we don't have here in this country that they just solely had for Europe. So... I think with the advent of, of, of the finer quality Nicaraguan, Honduran, and Dominican cigars, and sadly the slightly lesser quality of the Cuban cigars, which I guess is no great secret anymore. Uh, yeah, American companies and, and Europe and, and Central American companies are making big strides in Europe, and I presume absolutely. Asia as well. Yep, absolutely. And and for a second, I do want to. Uh, Show, you know, bring attention to the band and the say, box. Just it's mind. very 50s style. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it has cool. that whole yeah. idea of yeah. like what happened yeah. during the 50s. I love it. It says, it, Taste the past, bridge the gap, enjoy the future. It's also going to stay I just have one question I, I need to it. ask. Sure. Is your life insurance yes, paid up? Exactly. <laughs> it's not sure. it is, yes. Well, well that's good that, because like it's not you think you're leaving with no that box, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you can take the box, but the contents that's need exactly to be dumped here. I think we can work on that. Okay. We'll, we'll try to figure that out. You said, okay. you said this is a limited release. Correct. How many boxes are, um, are made? We are doing 2,000 boxes we'll each take them all. of we Robusto, can. Toro, and Gordo. Uh, to start, Lance uh -huh. Cerro is limited to 500 boxes. Um, I can't wait to smoke that Lance Cerro. What's the, I won't be greedy. I'll what's the retail prices on, on uh, them? They go from eight fifty. I'm sorry, eight dollars for the Robusto, uh, eight twenty five for the Toro, and nine twenty five for the Gordo. All right, so, so it's, it's it's in the right place. It's in the right place. Yeah. I mean, it's on the northern side of the sweet it. price, but I mean, it's it's not cheap. I think I, I I'll, I'll be honest. I don't care how much it costs. Yeah, well, I'm I, I, this is a okay. cigar that I would not care. Well, how let's much get a first opinion. Well, I'll start. I even kind of lit it wrong, and it corrected itself. I mean, isn't that fabulous? That Good is tobacco. a cigar that is rolled right. The construction is beautiful. The band is is fun. The band is a lot of fun. Um, it's just like so far, the beginning, prof like the taste, I'm getting like toasty, mm -hmm. little little earthy, little nutty. Um, so far. Rob? Yeah, I'm getting the toast and earth uh, taste on this also, and the nutty. I'm getting like an almond taste. Yeah. Yeah. Through this, it's it's really tremendous. It's a tremendous cigar. It really is. It's really good. There's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> yeah. I, I I don't beautiful. know if I can identify. I can't identify any of the flavors because like there's it. so much. Yeah, there, there, like there is a, a lot. A lot, a lot. <laughs> so a much lot. complexity. <laughs> the mine, mine auto corrected too, just like when, uh -huh. you're, when you're texting. <laughs> I'm <at> mine right <laughs> in the no, auto correction. Seriously, yeah, that's a good analogy. <laughs> automatically. Yeah. yeah, it did. It did right. automatically. Right. Mine, I lit right to begin with, so mine didn't have to um, auto correct. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. We're professionals. Yes. Um, <laughs> I, did, like, I, I agree with Scott joke. that there's a, an awful lot of good stuff going on, but what really does jump out at me is an, almost like a, a sweet almond paste yeah. kind mm -hmm. of flavor. I so I guess the, I agree with you, right? I guess yeah, I, 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 get, I think I we all agree that, that, that flavor, sweet, buttery right, almond, almond taste almond, to it. Mean, said it's fabulous. Creamy, yeah. yeah I guess go. generic creamy is a good way to put it. I can't wait to rip the band off and keep smoking. It's one of those kinds of cigars, seriously. Maybe we should do an hour show today, just... So we can smoke the whole thing. And That's like a tad idea. of pepper on the back, but it's but it's just a tad. Very, yeah, it's very, it's very, very, very subtle, subtle yeah. spice. Yes. Oh, love it. Yeah. Now, love Jonathan, it. I noticed we have uh, 
bottles of libation. Guess, uh, bottles of libation. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> why don't you explain to our audience why they're there? So we are uh, staring at the Glenfiddich 15 <laughs> yeah. and the Glenfiddich 21. Uh, Alec Bradley, we have a very, very close relationship with the William Grant and Sons portfolio. Uh, specifically, we work along with Glenfiddich and. Um, you know, for their other selections, the Hudson Bourbon, and we do some stuff um, with the distribution on uh, their different, you know, just some of the different liquors that, that they handle. And you um, drink all of them? Of course. You okay. have to drink, I, yeah. I just want to be clear about it. No question. Um, and Glenfiddich, uh, over the last couple of years, has been the number one selling single malt, or single malt scotch uh, in the United States and some wow. places across the world. So uh, we are very happy to have that relationship. The 15 is very easily uh, drank, very, very smooth, pairs well with multiple cigars, including ours. Uh, the 21 is very special to Glenfiddich. It's uh, Caribbean cask finished. The sweet notes in that, uh, in that scotch will definitely pair very, very well with this cigar. Um, if you look at the back of packaging here, uh, Glenfiddich will tell you that there's a really nice tobacco note uh, in that scotch, um, and um, you know we're just very proud to work with them. That being said, I'm, I'm about to make a very historic announcement right here on the show today. Dun, uh, dun, dun. As of today, uh, at uh, Cigar Cigar on Cigar Time, yeah. I'm going to announce that Alec Bradley will be working with William Grant and Sons and Glenn Fittick to make a cigar. Nice. Nice. Really? You That's guys, awesome. you guys are the first people. Awesome. To, to hear that, awesome. and we are very, very, very excited. You heard it here first. You heard it here. Yeah, that's right. Exclusive. A, a Glenfiddich cigar. Wow, Glenfiddich cigar, made by Alec Bradley. I love it. I bet that's going to be smooth. Uh, I can't wait. Smooth. Oh, I know. Alan's been working very hard with them, doing uh, deconstructive tastings. And for the audience who don't, you know, know what a deconstructive tasting is, is basically on our end, we play with the different tobaccos, leaf to leaf to leaf. To come up with the entire blend on Glenfiddich's side, you know they play with everything necessary to put together a really fine scotch. So the meeting of the meetings of the mind, they get together, mm -hmm. they go, well, this component of the scotch, this component of the tobacco, until finally we all come together. Here's the perfect cigar to go with this intended scotch. So every tasting note of the scotch and the cigar. A coordinated. Correct. Oh, that's yeah. great. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Great. Yeah, so. That must require a lot of work. Um, it requires Alan a lot of drinking and a yeah. lot of smoking. Yeah. Both yeah. of Alan does not mind that. Job. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Where's Somebody's John at, right? Yeah. John would love that. Oh, yeah, John Uncle Max, would love that. Uncle Max would love that. Sadly, Absolutely. the day will never dawn that I can drink as much as I smoke. Yeah, let's pray. <laughs> this is starting, to, this is starting to change a little bit. It's I'm getting spicy. I haven't gotten to change yet. I'm getting... A licorice flavor from it, or not I'm more like an anise. Yeah, anise more gen, yeah. More, I'll make it more generic than black licorice. Hmm. No, it's very, Scott, why don't you? Nice. Uh, we have upcoming events, right? We actually do. We've got four events. Well, first off, starting right now, and all our events. I just want to make sure you don't forget to say this because I know you probably wouldn't. All the events are going to be sponsored by Alec Bradley and Glenn, Glenn, Glenn Fittich. Fittich. Correct, Glenn Fittich, nice. not Fittich. Fittich. As I always thought. Showed you what a what a uh, libation man I am. There you go. Well, uh, it's going to be buy four get one free in all of our stores for from now to the following Sunday for so for two weeks. Our first event is tomorrow in Colmar from five to nine, uh, and the the specials during the events are if you buy three you get we'll give you another one free. If you buy ten we'll give you four free, and if you buy a box you're going to get a five pack plus an Al Bradley lighter. That's so, all on, on all Alec Bradley products, right? Correct. Not just all, on the... All Alec Bradley products. Okay. So tomorrow in Colmar from 5 to 9. So then that's Wednesday, tomorrow Wednesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Then Thursday in Lancaster from 4 to 8. Friday the 13th in <laughs> Fraser from 4 to 8. Oh. And then Monday the 16th right here in Horsham from 4 yeah. to 10. I would have liked Freaky Friday, 10. but oh. that's okay. And this is an ex these are exclusive. Yeah, this, this is the only place you're gonna be able to get these at 
uh, as of the tenth. Yeah, this is uh, as they, of today. The release. This is. These are the release. The official United States release party. So nice. Wow. Yeah, it's awesome. It's in the country. In the country. The country? Right here. You need a confetti. Oh, Colmar's gonna be the first one to have it. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I'm gonna be there. Huh? I'm gonna be there. Sure. No. <gasps> Rob. Oh, God. We had a. <laughs> I, I, know, I know we have some of these on order. But are they, do you have everything sold? Yeah, we bought everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so like cigar, we wanted, bought everything. No, if we wanted to order more, could we? <laughs> At, it's a limited edition release. Um, like, is everything for the, accounted for? Everything is accounted for right now, so there's really a rush on this product. So come out to the stores at these events and buy them up. Uh, because be gone. they will be gone. These will move very be, quickly. So I'm stashing, so. now, yeah, once they're gone, they're gone. Now, what? I saw you lighting your post embargo mm -hmm. with um, it's like the burner. The burner? The Alec Bradley is, burner? Yes. You want it? We're known that's, isn't that available? That's that? available in a couple of our stores. We do have yeah. some Alec Absolutely. Bradley burners. I think it's a fabulous old school type of way to light your cigar. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Nice. You want to hold it up so they let's, can see it. Let's hold up the burner. No. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you know color. when these are coming out? We have to take the focus off the cigar, too. These, <laughs> <laughs> these will be released in time for the events. Okay. You, well, you, have, you have my word, so <laughs> they will be <laughs> here in the, the stores event. tomorrow. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. They so better be, you know. Yeah. <laughs> now, the event is focused around this. Correct. Is it going to be on other Alec Riley as well, too? Yes. I, kn I know AB has switched a lot of their production to the Rachel Cubano plant, uh, and that has become a hot property. It has, mm -hmm. absolutely. Why, why don't you, you know, tell, tell our viewers what that's all about and why they have the hot hand right now. Well, the Rachel Cubano factory, um, we pretty much have the closest relationship to that factory. Um, most of our cigars are made there. We do a lot with Nestor Placencia as well. Um, the most important part of this Alec Bradley lineup made in Reyes Cubanas is the Honduran Corojo and Creole wrappers that that family grows. Yeah. So if you're smoking a cigar coming out of that factory, uh, most of the time it has that wrapper uh, on there. So it's very important to the folks over there um, that they have, you know, these cigars from us. Um, they did produce the 96 rated Alec Bradley Prensado Churchill, which oh, received cigar official cigar of the year uh, a few it years is. back. So everything they're putting out has just been really, really good. Uh, it's doing very well for us, and uh, the capacity of Alec Bradley's over there. Uh, they're just doing a fantastic job, and unfortunately for some of the smaller manufacturers who've been using their capacity, they're looking for some other, other venues, way to go. Yeah, yeah, to, to make yeah. their cigars mm. because you know everything that's come out of there from us has, has been a true hit, yeah. true hit. Yeah, Can the, I ask the, the family that runs that operation down there are, it's an old Cuban family. They're a real class act. They're great, great that's people. No, that's not Nestor Placencia. That's oh. the Raices Cubanas well, is yeah. is the Endemano family. Yeah, okay, yeah. And um, one of the things about Romai, the father, is he's really a an experimental breeder of tobacco. Also, so he comes up with great new tobaccos and then has the acreage to plant in quantity, and a lot of that stuff shows up in Alec Bradley blends. To everybody's benefit. Wow, that's awesome. What you're was your a, you're a well, I was going to say, well, I've, I've spent a lot of time with them. Mm -hmm. Great I people. can't wait to start spending time. Um, you're, I want to know what the thought process was behind the Alec Bradley pack because I can't believe the cigars that he put in the pack. I mean, do you know what that like? What he is talking about is uh, we, we make a, a humidified four pack, it's just a <coughs> quick grab and go Rush, type deal. Um, the selection in that pack is, is I, absolutely I, fantastic. Isn't it? I just, what a bargain! Too. It's a huge I, bargain. I know that's what I mean. I mean, and it's um, kind of it's one of those things where there are still some people who don't know who Alec Bradley is, and you know, that's that's why we appreciate. You know, Art and the whole crew over here for having us on the television show is to continue to get our name out. And when you see a pack like that with a value like that, um, with a price that's much higher usually on any of the cigars in yeah. that pack, 
Um, you get to put the cigars into somebody's mouth who generally does not know what Alec Bradley right. is. Right. And when they have the opportunity to smoke it, uh, they enjoy it and they, they keep coming back for it. So oh, it really yeah. is a really great marketing tool more I than thought anything that was else. So smart. Well, and, and one of, I think one I, of the I great things so about smart. the pack is some companies might be inclined to stick some things in a pack that they just want to get rid of. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You've got all, all the top first class yeah. stock, uh, top yeah. of the line yeah. stuff. All top of the line. You got the Prensado in there, that's 96, the Mundial. Yeah, the, uh, the right, right, and right. you have the lineage and the right. toro sizes. What I, what I like about that, since we're talking about it, is they're changing the pack around and they're putting different cigars yeah, in right. it to get their cigars in people's mouths. Wait, this you're changing year, it? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're gonna, gonna have another pack. The, the Tempest Nicaragua, <gasps> the Alec Bradley Connecticut That's Toro, the Creole Toro, and the Post Embargo. Oh my awesome. god. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. wow. When so, is this happening? For 1995, that pack. Yeah, when is this happening? That is happening soon, soon enough. Wow. I have a question for Rob. I think it's time to doing? review what? and rate the cigar, and we're gonna have to move it along here. Okay. Please. Um. It's got a lot going on, a little bit of spice up front, uh, very creamy, caramel. I got a little bit of the anise going on right now. This is fantastic. We rate it? We rate yeah, it? we're going to have to rate it. 9.5. Paul? Uh, in a phrase, damn near perfect, 9.5. T? It's perfect. And it's changed, and I'm getting everything they say, caramel, I'm getting, I'm getting everything. 10. This is a 10. Oh, this, is a, no. this deserves wow. a 10, especially the price point. Rob? Wow. Um, it, it's a very complex cigar. It, it's absolutely fantastic. I can't give it a 10. This should cost more, so I But give I, I give it a 975. Wow. Mm. I'll take it. I'll take it all day long. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great well, cigar. Being who I am, I am not prohibited from saying and doing whatever I want. And this cigar. Do it. This cigar is probably. One of the best cigars I've smoked in many, many mm -hmm. years. And I don't say that lightly. To me, this rivals the taste and quality of, of cigars that are many years old, like the Particus 150. Uh -huh. Wow. And other glorious oldies yeah. but goodies. Uh, I'm giving this a 10. Hey, oh, that's wow. what I'm talking about. This, this cigar, this cigar. So the average is 975. Yeah, it's about right. Nice no, so, exactly. nice so, I <laughs> so I was correct. So I was correct is what you're saying. No, you're yes, you were correct. Seven, five. You were correct. Oh. Credit to the birthday boy. Oh. Yep, is Rob's birthday's birthday? today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Rob. Thank you. Thank Should we you. sing to him? No. You want me to no. sing along? No. 60 or 61. Well, because Ooh. this is the post embargo, I could go. <laughs> Happy birthday. Bonne vacera. <laughs> That's all I got. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> that could be my gift. He was crooning you. to now you. Now, lady, you ladies who are watching, and we, we find out that there's a lot more ladies watching than we uh, previously thought, uh, please yeah. stop into the Horsham store, and T will be very happy to tell you where she buys all her wonderful clothes. <laughs> wow. You will do that, right? I will. You will. Oh, my gosh. And men, you can also ask her about her clothes, too, to buy for your... <laughs> You're women folk. You're women folk? folk. Do people oh, sick yeah, you've been that like 50, <laughs> 60 years. Well, that, Thank that, you. Well, I'm an old man. That well, demographic yeah. just dropped down <laughs> to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're we're not getting any more women folk. Oh, one. my goodness. Nope. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to be I'm going to be either a toothpick or a roach. Yeah, I'm going to need something like that too. <laughs> well, well, thank this, you so this, much. This is not leaving my possession. You need a speculum cigar holder. No, I don't. No. Need. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> He's not on the show today. Well, as, 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 as we come to the close of our show, I just want to thank you all for watching, and I think we all should kind of say goodbye. Goodbye, folks. Bye, folks. Uh, life's too Chef short. Life's too short. Life's too short. Life's too short. And don't Home forget our event. show Saturday Cheap night cigars. at 8 o'clock. Don't forget to come. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. 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 Say hi to Alan in a couple of seconds. Hi, I'm Alan Rubin, the owner of the Alec Bradley Cigar Company. I want to quickly tell you about our new launch that we're coming out with now in 2015 our new Alec Bradley Post Embargo. This is a uh, very interesting time in the cigar industry because we didn't know when the embargo would end, but three years ago, I trademarked Post Embargo with, uh, always with the opportunity and the hope to be able to come out with it in the next few years, and now it's here. A uh, great blend using all Central American tobacco, predominantly from Nicaragua and Honduras, a lot out of the Jalapa Valley. 
Uh, if you ask the guys over here at Cigar Cigars, the one thing they'll tell you is it could be one of the best releases we've come up with in the last five years. This is something I hope you enjoy and hope you have the opportunity to enjoy it very soon. Thanks. Yeah.